Okay everyone, uh, here's a little uh, project video that we're making. We got a new car on the property today. So this is Project 93 Ford Escort LX. A uh, little bit of background here. Um, one of my best friend's granddaughters was working on getting her driver's license. And uh, as an incentive, myself and a couple of my friends and her grandfather promised her that if she passed her driver's test, we all put in to get her a little car, get her on the road. Well, she passed her driver's test about a month ago, and I've been looking around for a car for her, something cheap that we can put her into. And I went on to Dial a Trade, a radio program where you could buy, sell, or trade anything absolutely free, and I found this 93 Ford Escort LX. A gentleman called me, told me he had a car for 300 bucks. So let's just kind of show you what we got. We got the car home yesterday. Uh, it's not a completely perfect car, but I'm not looking to put a 18 going on 19 year old female driver that just got her driver's license, just started driving in a perfect car. But the reality of the matter is, the car looks better than my first car did. My first car being an 82 Pontiac Grand Prix 3.1, or 3.8 rather. This is a 93 Escort LX 1.9. It's pretty straight. There's, you know, a little bit of minor body damage. Um, there's a dent there and a few other things. But, there's no cancer, there's no surface rust. I mean, this car is clean. Uh, it's on the roof. So, uh... It runs and drives. I drove it all the way from somewhere out in the middle of BFE, Fayetteville, Arkansas, somewhere out where it looks like where they filmed Deliverance, to drive this car back. Now the car, like I said, it runs and drives. It is a five-speed stick, and it does need a little bit of work. Interior is a little dirty. The headliner is gone. Uh, my friend here is working on adjusting the uh, parking brake uh, or attempting to do so. Well, we probably got some really worn brake shoes in the rear. Um, we need, we got some slop in the uh, stick shift there, which we already got a kit, which is somewhere in the car. Um, we got a little bushing kit that allows us to tighten that up. So we got to do that. Um, Let's see what else we got to do in here. Oh yeah, we've got a cracked windshield, which I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but it, it's cracked all the way from here on the driver's side, and it goes clean up and over, right over to the passenger side, right in her line of vision. So we're going to have to slap a windshield in this thing. But, you know, running and driving car. Let's see if we got all the doors unlocked here. Yeah. You know, it's a little rough a little dirty but you know the guy was asking 300 for it and I haggled with the man for about 45 minutes and I told him I said look I said uh, with the work that it needs uh, mechanically and whatnot um, I got him down to 250 so let me put the uh, camera on pause here for a second and we'll get an engine shot okay so there's our engine that's a standard uh, 1.9 liter um, engine, four cylinder of course. It's not the original engine to the car. The man said that this car was bought as a package with another one. This one had a blown motor, the other one had a blown tranny. So he had a motor put into this car. Um, it is a bit oily. He says that he thinks that the valve cover leaks a bit. So we're going to pull that valve cover off and we're going to um, see if we got a leaking gasket man says that the uh, timing belts already done been replaced the water pumps already done been replaced I believe he said he replaced the serpentine belt and on that driver's side there one of the struts has already done been replaced the radiator fan is not correct that's not the Ford escort fan there's supposed to be a shroud that goes over this entire rad and they've used a little bit of stock iron here to just kind of jerry-rig this 
fan on here and the plug is obviously been modified who the hell knows what that fan came out of but you know we drove the car from the guy's house through Fayetteville to Salem Springs and all the way here about I don't know I'd say a 35 mile 40 mile drive maybe and I drove it for a good part of that it runs good the engine is stout and sound it doesn't knock or ping or tick it does smoke mainly when you're um, starting up or taking off it doesn't seem to smoke when you're traveling down the road so what we'll do is we'll go in now and get the key we'll start it up show you what we got okay so my friend's gonna start the car show you that it smokes a little bit but the engine runs good Alright. Rev it up a little bit. So it is smoking. I said it is smoking. But the engine sounds good. I mean, it's not knocking, it's not ticking, it's not doing anything. Okay, you can shut it off. So, aside from it smoking, the guy said it burned about a quart of oil every 2,000 miles, roughly. Um, so we put oil in it to get it home. It's used a little bit of oil on the way up here. It does smoke. I'm thinking it could be valve stem seals. Um, I'm going to do a compression test on it this afternoon. See what our lower end looks like. And, uh, you know, it's a first-time car for a teenager. She's just started driving, and she's got a job at Walmart now, so she's just needing something to get her from where she lives now to, uh, to Walmart and back. And eventually she'll, you know, no doubt trade it up for something a little more, you know, newer and better. But, anyway, I paid 250 for the car. Uh, her grandpa put in 100 I put in 100 and our friends are going to put in the remainder. We're going to have to put in on the windshield and tune it up and replace the valve cover gasket. It does leak some oil. Um, I'm going to try to locate another LX so I can get the correct uh, rad shroud in here and fan. Um, I know where there's an engine or a car that had the same engine. Um, going to go through the brakes. Uh, make sure the brakes are in tip-top shape put that uh, bushing kit in the shifter and We're gonna have to find some tires because these are a little thin in the skin All the way around they look about the same But I figure we should be able to get this car hopefully ready to rock and roll and ready to put this teenage girl in it in about two months maybe a month depending on how our finances go. We're going to, to slap some antifreeze in there. That's a little thin in that. If it is just stem seals causing it to smoke like that, and it mainly smokes when you first start it, or when you first rev it, uh, but it don't seem to smoke like that when you're going down the road. So if it's just valve stem seals, I uh, will spend 26 bucks on some new valve stem seals, and I can replace those without even pulling the head. And if that's what we're going to have to do, well, I'll demonstrate how to do that process and make a little video on that. So, that's what we've got. 93 Ford Escort LX, 1.9 four-cylinder. I've designated this car Project Green Hornet. So, hopefully we could knock out the Green Hornet here and not get stung in the process. Anyway, thanks for watching, and there'll be more update videos as they come.